if you guys aren't really uh, sure what exactly Apache is, Apache is just a web server. So what's a web server? I'll give you guys like the two minute explanation. Whenever you get on the internet and you request uh, to go to a website, say you want to go to uh, Google, what you do is you type it in your browser and it sends it over to the internet to one of Google's servers, and which is basically a computer. And that computer is like, all right, Bucky wants to go to this site, so I'm going to deliver the page to him, google.com. So it basically is a server that processes his request, processes, processes, however you freaking say it, and when it gets a request from someone, it delivers the web page or web content to him. So it's basically a web server. Boom. That that's pretty much it. So in order to download um Apache, we need to go to this web page again it's the same one uh, that we went before and right now the version is Apache 2.4.9 and again like I said even if you have a 64-bit operating system download this version right here so go ahead and click this it's kind of a I, well it's not really that big of a file but it was downloading slow for me so I actually downloaded it before this tutorial so let me go to we can actually close out of here for right now once you have it downloaded it's gonna go to your downloads folder and I have it right here that's what it's gonna look like alright sorry guys someone was at my door selling freaking oranges for school or something but anyways where was I alright so we have this Apache zip folder downloaded so now what we wanna do is if you double click it right here you're gonna see this thing called Apache 24 now we wanna go ahead and move it right to our C drive so take this folder and drag it right on top of your C drive and it's going to go ahead and move it over there. So wait till that's done. This is uh, kind of awkward. So uh, you know, how was your weekend guys? <clears throat> yeah, mine was pretty good. Oh my god, is this thing freaking done yet? Alright, so once it's copied, what we can do is go to our C drive and we see we now have the folder right there it says Apache 24 so what I want to do is I actually want to change the name of that to Apache so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the 24 and another thing that I want to do is in also make sure that if you change your name um know exactly what you named it and also the case of it as well for example if you uh you know just remember that it starts with a capital A. That's it. So now what we need to do is we need to open Notepad or any text editor you have. If you don't have Notepad++ then you can uh, just use Notepad. That's fine. So what I want to do now is I want to edit a file that was in one of those folders that I just uh, moved to the C drive. So file open and if you go to the C drive Apache there's gonna be a folder called conf and inside that there's gonna be a file called HTTP D okay there's a squirrel running right in front of my window and it's very distracting <laughs> but anyways go ahead and open this and what this is is your Apache configuration file it pretty much has a bunch of settings in order to run Apache from your computer and one thing that we need to do is we need to say where exactly that folder is and what's the name of it. Now I actually named the folder. This was the default one, C Apache 24. So what I want to do is I actually need to go through and if I copy this, then what I can do is I could uh, search, find, and replace this with, oops, Apache. So basically the default setting um, called the folder Apache 24 but remember we renamed that folder so what it's going to do is it's going to go through this configuration file and change all these Apache 24's to Apache. So check it out. Replace all. Six instances replaced and now the configuration file is set up properly with the name of your new folder. Pretty freaking cool. So now all we have to do in this file is change one small other thing and if you scroll all the way down to line, let's see what line it is on, right here 217, you're going to see this little comment right here. This little uh, hashtag means it's commented out. 
so delete that and by default the server name is www.example.com and what we want to do is we want to delete that and change it to local host now local host pretty much means my computer keep the port at 80 so now basically what we're saying if we go ahead and save this file is alright I'm running Apache on my computer aka localhost in the name of the folder whenever you're looking for Apache is C colon slash Apache so that's all we have to do for this configuration file like I said we can just save that and close out of there and now believe it or not Apache is pretty much set up and it's good to go and if you guys want to test this out then what you can do is you can open up your command prompt and just type CMD and hit enter and it'll open in Windows. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to change our directory and if you guys aren't familiar with uh, command prompts put actually I better talk you guys through this put CD slash Apache and put another slash and put bin and this is gonna pretty much uh this means change directory which pretty much means change folder and this pretty much puts you in the Apache folder so now what we can do is we can go ahead and type the name of that file HTTP and it was d.exe and whenever we hit enter um I don't know if you guys can see this either because I don't know if my screen recorder is going to pick up these little window alerts but this is pretty much saying hey uh, Windows firewall thinks something's up but it's actually us doing it so we can go ahead and allow access and now what's happening is Apache is running on our computer so we can go ahead and open a browser and from a browser if you type local host and hit enter you're gonna get this file that says it works and this actually is a file that came whenever you uh, downloaded Apache so you know it's not like a I, just, I didn't hack into your computer and write this or anything. If you see this, then you followed my instructions perfectly, and it pretty much is saying Apache is running, and it's set up properly. The first piece of the puzzle is doing good. Your Apache web server is good to go. So we can go ahead and close out of that, and now that we have Apache downloaded and installed, the next thing that we need to do is we need to download and install PHP. So I'm going to do that in the next video. It's going to be freaking awesome. So I will see you there.